All right, we're back. The blue has dried enough. We're, we're going to start hitting it with our pearlescent powders. It's going to be a light blue powder. Let's see which one do we want to use. I think we're going to hit it with this one. Like I said, for this particular paint job, I go heavy with the powders. And things are still wiggling around. I probably should have glued the base of the damn thing on it. I don't know if you can pick it up. You can see the pearlescent powders beating up on that oil paint. That's what I think is cool about it is because you get a multi layer paint job. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. You get multiple colors showing through because you have a water color sitting top of on a uh, oil based paint. And since they don't mix, you get the result of both paint jobs. Yet there's gaps in them. So they're both showing through at the same time and it gives it this really cool look. Sorry, I'm not better at explaining it. But uh, it should speak for itself in the end. Hopefully. I will say this as many heads as I've done, consistency, at least with this guy, is difficult. Because I'm, I'm painting the other uh, reject head as I'm naming it. I'm actually painting it along with it just to see if that uh changes it any makes it look at least a little bit better any which I uh, I'm sure I'm sure it'll make it look a little bit better but still not up to par with uh, what I try and get out of my carvings. I know my carvings aren't the greatest. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there better than me. I've seen carvers out there that uh, do a lot better work than me, but nobody does the type of characters I do, which is why I started doing them, because it was something I, I just didn't see people doing. Uh, you get an abundance of uh, media out there. And by media, I mean... Uh, TV shows and movies and stuff with very iconic characters with very extreme features and stuff and that just uh, appeals to me personally as a challenge in order to carve them and like uh, growing up in the 80s and loving a lot of the 80s flicks I watched there's so many cool characters from that era in movies that had the uh, actual prosthetic special effects makeups that I love that's how I ended up doing the um, Lord of Darkness character. Uh, the Dobby character I did, obviously. He's a CG character. I don't know if they actually used like a dummy or a puppet in the movie. I never watched any behind the scenes or special features, but there's just uh, so many characters other than just animals. Uh, you see a lot of animal wood carvings, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I started out doing, and I just got burnt out on it. And it wasn't until I realized that I could start doing uh, stuff like this that I uh, started getting really jazzed up about uh, doing my carvings again, getting excited about it. Uh, I think we've hit him. All right, yeah, we got him good with that. And uh, we'll sit him and dry, and we'll be back with our next uh, step.